Not too long ago, I made a video on how I believe that the paddle brush may be superior to all the other brushes I've used on a bigger beard when it comes to styling. And many of you went out and bought your own paddle brush and testified positively that, that it, it performed the same way for you as it did for me and you were very happy about it, which made me happy. And I think that Mad Viking Beard Company might have seen the video and they reached out to me and asked me if I would try their paddle brush. It's very pretty, made of birch wood. Very nice. And I thought to myself when they were saying, before I got it, I really thought to myself, this can't be any different than, than this brush. I mean, I mean, look at them. What's the difference? Well, I'll tell you. And I think this one is a step or two above the store-bought one. Here's the reason why. Well, first of all, uh, you can see that the brush itself, as far as the length of the bristles, they're a little bit shorter and they're a little bit softer, okay? So in addition to that, they also have the boar hair bristles right alongside the rest of the brush and it makes it very, very nice. What the boar hair bristles, bristles do is help distribute the beard oils better. This, this, this is all plastic. This is all plastic. It's not really gonna help you dist distribute the beard oils as you're styling. This will because it has the boar hair bristles. Okay, that's really neat. In addition to that, the boar hair bristles also help add tension to the beard without adding too much. And it makes styling the beard that much nicer. And so I did notice a, a noticeable difference, so I'm not being redundant, when I was styling my beard with this. And, and I really like it a lot. So, you know, you might want to consider getting one for yourself. I already have put in, I'm going to demonstrate this here in a second, but I've already put in uh, Mad Vikings Blood Orn Beard Oil. It's my, it's, I think it's my favorite one from them. It has that, that coffee and mint uh, type scent to it. Oh, I love it. And I've been using Mad Viking for probably six or seven years. I highly recommend them. And so I, I put that in. So my beard is still slightly moist. It's, it's getting a little more dry than I want to right now. But I'm going to show you what you do if you're going to use this brush. First, you want to turn your, your hair dryer on warm, not hot, and then keep it on low and kind of, you know, just kind of get out. And you don't want to completely get out moisture out of your beard, but you kind of just want to run it through here. And you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want your beard to be sopping wet. So here's what I do. We all know that the under beard is the part that stays wet the longest and the goatee area. So you just kind of want to kind of get it in there a little bit, not long, because you don't want to completely dry it out. Okay, so that's not styling. That's just getting a little bit drier. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush and blow in the direction that I want the beard to go. And it won't take long. And I will say, which I grabbed the wrong brush, didn't I? And I will say, you're, I think, I don't know if you'll notice a difference, but I noticed a difference. I'm going to keep it on warm, keep it on low. So here's the thing, if I don't use heat and tension on my beard, when my beard gets completely dry, it'll look, it'll appear a little bit shorter and, and a lot more curly and it'll just be uncontrollable. So heat and tension for me are a big plus. Uh, what I like about the paddle brush is that it covers more area, so it's getting more tension uh, in every area that I'm going down and it just, it makes the process a lot quicker. And I didn't really do much to this, I mean this is... That's all I really needed to do. And this is going to look nice the rest of the day. Now you can add a little bit of beard balm, beard butter. In fact, I've got, I've got their blood orange beard butter. I'm not going to use a lot. I don't think I'm going to run it through my entire beard. Just maybe the top of it. 
I don't want to soften up my beer too much after I've used a blow dryer on it. And there's one additional thing I do with the blow dryer. Let me get a little bit more. Okay, there's one additional thing I do with the blow dryer before I sign off with it. Let me break this down really good. And that's gonna smell nice the rest of the day. You don't wanna overuse the hair dryer. And um, the reason why is it can it can actually have the reverse effect that you want it to. It'll look a little, little too straight, a little too unnatural. So just use the blow dryer a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through with this, but I'm gonna turn it on the cool, turn it on cool, turn it on low, and then use the cool shot button. Most of your blow dryers have a cool shot button. Make sure you use that because it will help set the beard. Okay, it's very important to remember that. I'm going to go with that just briefly. And that's all I want to do. It still has a natural look without being way too straight. I think a beard that looks way too straight looks unnatural. I still want it to, you know, look like I might not have used a hair dryer, but I really need it if I'm going to have it looking nice at all. And um, yeah, it's just, um, you know, it's just a process. It's very short, it only takes a couple of minutes, you know, a lot less time than it did to make this video, of course. But uh, yeah, I would highly recommend using the Mad Viking paddle brush because it does have the boar hair bristles. I haven't seen another paddle brush like that in the store at least. I'm sure somebody has them, but you don't need a code. All you need is my link. My link has savings baked into it and you'll probably find other savings along with that. Check out their beard oils, their beard balms, their beard butters, and also their beard and body lotion. This is a spray that you can spray in your skin, or for me, my head. <laughs> you can spray it in your beard too, but it's really nice. And uh, it's, just, it's just a way of getting a nice smell all over, you know, without getting too goopy, you know what I mean? So anyway, check all these, check all these things out. These are nice. Mad Viking's pretty, pretty darn good. So anyway, I hope you uh, like that. Check out the link down below and tell me what you think. It's a beautiful, absolutely a beautiful brush. You want this in your collection. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And check out the description below. All right, catch the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.